what's going on guys? Um, buy myself boomsticks. Oh, what's up, pup? Um, and today we're gonna check out this uh, conservation area. See if we can do some squirrel hunting. Looks like it might rain a little later, so I'm trying to get after it. But uh, yeah, so the uh, this conservation area actually lets you hunt deer, turkey, and squirrel. So it's squirrel season. Oh, the poor puppy. And uh, so what? I'm trying to do a video, pup. I'm trying to do a video. Go relax. Relax. All right. Anyway, so we're gonna get go after that, and I'm gonna try to bring you guys along. And might not be able to see the kills, but you know, if I get any, there, I will be showing you guys the uh, field dressing of it, because I feel like that's important to see. And you guys got a problem with that? I'm sorry, but that's just how I feel. I feel like everybody should know where food comes from, and I might show you some recipes if uh, if I do get one or two. That's all I'm really going for. The bag limit is like six a day, something like that. But I'm just gonna go for you know one or two and do a nice little hike, see what happens. So, and it's a good thing this pup ain't coming with me, because she'd be all over me. Yeah, in there, Red Bailey. Uh, anyway, so, hope you guys enjoy the video, and, yeah, we'll, I'll catch up with you in a second. Alright, guys, so... The place I was trying to get to is over there, naturally. And, uh, yeah. With all the rain and everything, this is flooded. But, over here, and over here, is still public land. So, I'm going to see what I can do. But, holy crap. This camera doesn't really do it justice on how big this actually is. Like... Awesome. beautiful little area and apparently you can camp here as long as you're within like a uh, hundred yards of the uh, river so that's kind of cool but like I said though I'm not gonna be doing any camping just gonna try to shoot a couple squirrels and see what happens so, I'll get back to you. Check out how cool this place is. So it feeds into the river over there, and if you listen carefully, you can hear it. No squirrels yet. A couple of mosquito bites. Because I forgot my repellent. Bastards. So yeah. That's the update. It is 
just after 10.30 a.m. So all you squirrel hunters out there, let me know if I'm way too late or super early. Like, do they feed? Are they out and about during the morning and the afternoon? What? I'm a rookie at this. So, just trying to learn, as we all are. I wish I could bait, just stick some peanut butter out and see what happens, but. And I've tested that at home. I didn't kill them, just see if they like peanut butter, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. So that's the, uh, current situation. Alrighty guys, well, been out here for about four hours, gotta go back, and uh, yeah, no squirrels, no sign of squirrels, I don't know, maybe I'm in the wrong spot, but I really want to get a squirrel this season, just because... I have zero small game under my belt. I got a couple deer, and that's about it. I haven't shot a turkey yet. So, 2019 is gonna be the year of the kill for Seth Rowe. It's my plan anyway. Because I also wanna do uh, coyote hunting. You know, but I don't have a game call for that yet, and the electronic ones are too damn expensive, so, <coughs> pardon me. So, yeah, I'm, uh, that's my goal for this year, or goals for this year. Shoot a couple squirrels. Just a couple rabbits whenever uh, that season opens up in the fall. Uh, hope to shoot another deer because deer is delicious. And uh, you know, maybe shoot a uh, turkey this uh, this coming fall. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me, and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. And yeah. We'll get back at you. I guess I should probably clear my rifle real quick. Oh! Slip and slide, dragonfly. Big motherfucker there. on oh yeah I gotta show you guys this this shit's really cool
So if memory serves, this is everything that they've pulled out of the river from all the flooding and whatnot. But look at that. It's ridiculous. We're gonna have mulch for a long time out here. Business right there. There's a business on the other side of these. Uh, this brush. Very cool area. Granted, I didn't get to explore the uh, actual island because that the river goes around this place because the water's been up so high. But uh, guess we're gonna have to wait till fall or something. There's that main road right there. Amazing. Not even a quarter mile from, you know, a pretty good population. That's interesting. All these leaves here are Weird. It smells delicious though. It's probably all the mulch over there on the other side of the brush there. Yeah. Kind of bummed that I didn't get a squirrel though. You know, at least one. I didn't even see any. That kind of bums me out. But, I was kind of cliche, but that's why they call it hunting. I'm in the old Dodge today. Because Ford's in the shop. Rusted out brake lines. But I mean, hey. It's uh, getting close to 20 years old, so I ain't mad at it. gentlemen and ladies if you're watching whoever's watching that's right crank windows but uh yeah so uh you guys have a good time uh happy hunting to you all or fishing uh get outside and play a little bit you know what i mean like i don't get to get out and play as much as I used to or want to but uh you know yeah just grab a niece or a nephew and go on a hike or something you know get the young ones in there young ones I'm only 30 but still I just feel like there's a disconnect between the kids that were born in the early 90s and kids who were born in the early 2000s you know what I mean like and the late 2000s I don't know it's just like everybody just wants to stick to the screens I say that as I'm making a video for you to watch on a screen but get out and have some fun go for a walk because the kids these days they don't they don't know about nature. They don't know what a deer print looks like or a squirrel print, you know. 
You can barely identify most of the birds anymore. You know. I don't know. Strange times. Anyway. You guys have a good one. And uh, we'll catch you next time.